I'm ruined. I'm done. I'm never gonna make another Nightsway video again. I'm the laughing stock of the whole school. Jeez, how could this be going any worse? Hello? How did it come to this? Weeks before my life had been going so good, I thought I was gonna produce the best Nightsway video ever. And then, I bombed the whole thing. You might recognize me from such activities as going to school or being a senior. Twitter extraordinaire and Arlington Heights Youth Basketball Association participant Mike Mannix was making my film a complete success. Uh, until I lost my temper with him. This is baloney, I'm out of here. This is total baloney. Wait, your mark. Wait, wait, wait Mannix, I'm Fine. taking the fire. And just like that, I was ruined. Mike Mannix left, and I was stuck with a half a night's way video, which I turned in the next day and then ran off. Before leaving, though, I stopped upstairs where I got this phone call. Hey, Ike, it's Maddie. Maddie, hey. Maddie Maloney. We worked on the past four Night's Way videos together. But... Anyway, Mr. Holter wants to see you in his office. I don't know why I listened to my unpaid intern and went to my boss's office. Maybe I just wanted to get fired and formally receive some of the blame. But all I knew was just how uncomfortable Mr. Holter could really make me. Ike, my boy! Come on in! Maybe I was over-exaggerating. Maybe I was a little too worried. I'm sure this meeting was going to go just fine. Tell me if this is what just fine looks like. Uh, what'd you want to see me about, sir? You know, like, in this economy, it's difficult to find good directors and producers like yourself. Uh, but sir, I thought the last one was total garbage. Or at least that's what Mike Mannix said. You know, like, it's funny you say that because it wasn't your directing that made this film great. It wasn't? No, no. It was Mike Mannix. Can I, can I get you a drink, Ike? Yeah, sure. What do you want? Uh, light blue, please. Light blue? Great, how am I going to tell him that Mike Mannix wants nothing to do with me anymore? Oh man, here we go. To Mike Mannix. Uh, sir, there's a problem with the Mike Mannix situation. And what's that, Ike, my boy? Well, sir, Mannix specifically said that he would... Never work with that baloney producer again. And so with that in mind... Go hire the I should have been a doctor. Hello? No, I'm not working with that garbage producer again. I realize the economy. All right, I'm on my way. Like, we know that I don't like you, but you probably like me because I'm one of the most likable kids in the world, you know? But the musical is going to be awesome this year because I heard this new guy named Kevin Kurt. Alright, this, this didn't make any sense to me. I thought the script that we'd agreed on was Too Fast, Too Furious, the musical. This was clearly not that. No, 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 no. I almost did not crisscross that sauce. Take a five minute break before I got the live fireworks scene and the car chase. Hey, hey, Kevin. Uh, hi. Uh, 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 not to sound annoying or anything, but, uh, what's this pageant about? Well, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna tell you what it's not about, alright? It's not gonna be a cheap ripoff of a Christmas Carol. Just make some hasty deadline for a Night's Way video. Um. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Believe it or not, me and Kevin Kern resolved our differences, and both agreed that our actors were so garbage that we need to do everything we could to help them. Why the heck? You're probably the worst. It's not even a real poncho. Alright, Noel. I don't know how to put it's this- Oh, right, GET OUT! This, this really just doesn't match the boots. <laughs> You're the only one that's actually dressed right, but give me these. 
I just don't see anything that you're contributing to this production. It, it's pretty bad, actually, so, but don't be sad. Alright guys, I really don't know how to say this, but, uh, do you guys, I mean, do you guys think you're doing a good job? You guys are both just memes. What an impolite, awful, cold-hearted girl. I don't think me or Kern had ever heard such nasty stuff said about us in our whole lives. While going our separate ways, turns out Maddie tried to save the whole project by being polite and treating her actors kind. I know, right? I guess I'll take over. So, you guys are doing a really good job. I love the costume, so let's take it from the top. I knew that I needed advice from one man who knew just about everything. Man, Dad, if you are still here, you tell me what to do. Ike, why are you talking to that picture like I'm dead? I don't know. We're just having the worst week ever. Ike, my boy, why don't you take a seat? What's been going on, Ikers? I don't know. I guess I wasn't so polite to my actors. And now everyone thinks I'm a total jerk. You know, Ikey, my dad used to always tell me two things. He would always say, be polite to everyone around you. And also, Dave, next time, put your shoes on after your pants. And that's the last time I saw him. What? You know what, Dad? Thanks for the advice. And uh, also that be polite to everyone, that's, that's pretty useful too, I guess. My dad looks nothing like me, but he gave me some great advice. I knew that I had to go back to the theater and support the actors and apologize for my impoliteness. Sorry, sir. Uh, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, Yo, Kurt, it's a full house night. What's going to happen when people realize what a bad job we do? All right, if anything happens, the door's right there, you leave. Just take off. Hey, hey, go start, to start, go to start. And that's the end of our story. Oh, shoot, the lens cap. Oh, man, Ike's gonna kill me. Oh. Bravo, bravo. An unpaid intern did a nice job. Yeah, I know, I'm so glad Gar got the whole thing on film. Oh, I know, it's gonna be awesome. I know. Gotta skip town. Change my name to Mike Houghton. Move to Arlington Heights. So And that was the last thing I ever heard about Eric Garmo. I wasn't too mad. Maddie and my dad both taught me the valuable lesson of being polite. Dad, you always had the best advice. Wish you were here with us right now. Dave, I'm not dead yet, you idiot. But remember, pants and then shoes. I'm working on it, Dad. My dad, Grandpa, and my intern were right. It all came down to being polite. I just didn't know how to tell Mr. Holter that. Uh, hi, sir. I, you wanted to, uh, my boy, that was brilliant. Uh, How'd you do it? Uh, it was actually... That was brilliant. It was actually all just my unpaid intern, sir. This is not okay. The whole prospector is calling you a big hit. I don't get it. How'd you do it? By not treating the actors like garbage. Oh, and we did? I don't want to be here anymore. What a jerk. I just want a friend. You were so mean to me. Kevin scares me. My son's so mean. I don't even know what I'm doing here. With billions of people crowded onto one planet, it's critical that we treat each other with basic decency and respect so we can get along with one another. One basic rule of behavior, called the Golden Rule, has helped people do this centuries after centuries. The rule states that we should treat each other the way we want to be treated ourselves. Alright, Night's Way video, take 42.
Hi, I'm Mike Sanu, and I'm here to apologize once again for the video you've just watched. I've insulted so many actors during our productions that I may not even be able to make the next Night's Way video. Not true. That being said, we've really learned a lot about being polite over the past two weeks. Everyone in the prospect community deserves respect. Being polite is a big part of that. You also never know what kind of a day someone might be having. And a little care and appreciation can really change their attitude. Those kind courtesies like holding the door and saying please and thank you can really go a long please way. Please sit still. What we're trying to say is in every situation we should consider the golden rule so everyone can feel appreciated and respected. Alright, we good? Nope, definitely not good. Alright, let's turn nope. this in. Sit down.